there. Ah, never mind. It, it was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... he's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? You really are a hero, huh? You know, I thought it was enough, traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? What I'm saying is, I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. But there's something I want you to help me with first. It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon, but I can't do that to my darling boys. So we have to leave them somewhere safe, with somebody who can look after them. Now, I know just the place and just the person, but... Well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of Smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? an announcement to make. My parading days are over. No! 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 Ah, 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 ah. But do not fear. It will only be for a little while. I will return as soon as the Lord of Shadows is defeated. We... we understand, Sylve. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylve. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And if anyone can show that rotten spoilsport what's what, it's you. <laughs> Exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. Puerto Valor? 
Wait. Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's. So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrik. Such a sweet, simple boy. Ah! All right, my little champions of cheer. Let's go show Puerto Valor how to party! <laughs> I... I cannot fathom it. The boy is unrecognizable. And he has abandoned the name his father gave him. Don Rodrigo must be furious. <clears throat> Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo, the noblest and most revered of all knights. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. But the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor never to return. Until now. But perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor. The road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. Strange. I thought I'd never see this place again, and yet here I am. Well, at least I came back with a bang. You go on ahead, honey. I need a second to compose myself. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. Uh, uh, huh? Hendrik? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! How many years has it been since you completed your training, eh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. I have heard many tales of your exploits. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador. <laughs> I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, 
then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. Hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. And yet the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, 
That was the life for me. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no, this was my calling. To make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. <sighs> he didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left. And I haven't seen him since. Ah, oh, dear me. That got a bit long and emotional, huh? But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact... Yes. Let's do this. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit! Puppy! Caramba! Norberto, you dare to show your face in my presence? And you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Huh? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, not yet, puppy. Why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. What kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it? Wait. Papi, did you say... knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Papi. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? 
But I had a good reason. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? Si. See. Si. How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? <gasps> oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Mm -hmm. Oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! Bedroom. It's so big. <gasps> oh, don't tell me this is your dad, Sylph. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> Norberto, explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? Pop this on. Oh. Hey, Norberto, where are you? Hey, 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 get your hands off of me! <laughs> That's your foolishness, boy! I did not agree to this! Oh, don't be like that, Papi! How can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised! And didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? Hmm? Listen to me, soldiers of Smile. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. <laughs> Please, Sylph, don't go. Don't leave us. 
<laughs> Darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. <laughs> and no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. The Salty Stallion is all yours too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. With the ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea. Thank you. 
Battery. Another day, another victory. It's a wee bit stormy all of a sudden. Silvando, this ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? Don't mention the S word! I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy! That voice, where is it coming from? Unbidden. Know that an imp 
insult to me is an insult to my lord and master! Prepare to pay with your lives! You're the one who'll be paying, you great big slimy so-and-so! Get a load of this! <laughs> Me on! I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched! <laughs> the awe with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments null and void. Steps of despair. No! And what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? No, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed... <laughs> Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. In your world, I am known as the Seer. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? No. 
I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. You know, I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. So that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken, no more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the luminary. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world. Darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> when you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then... It was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer, and they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. 
Come. Mm hmm. Whoop. <laughs> in your heart and lightning in your hand. There'll be time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on, let's get you to bed. Another day, another victory.
despair. I am helpless, powerless, bound by the chains of regret. If only I could go back. I would gladly accept eternal damnation just to go back to that day. Please. Hear my plea. You must free this restless knight from his prison of despair. So we all had the same dream, eh? Just like people have been saying. The poor knight bemoaning his fate, asking to go back. Oh, it was tragic. He looked so desperate. I wish there was something we could do to help, but we don't know who he is, or even where he is. Uh, maybe not. But that was Dracilian armor he was wearing. There's no doubt about that. What do you say, laddie? Shall we go and see what's become of Dundrasil now that this blasted darkness has engulfed the world? Guys!
from the old dog yet. Victory is ours. Hmm. My strength grows ever greater. Stay down. Accept your fate. Strength grows ever greater.
ruins. This place was in ruins the last time we came. But this... This is something else. Ah, it fear breaks my heart. Ah... Where was I? Ah, yes. It should be around here somewhere. Would you boys do me a favour and shift this little lot? Well, don't just stand there, darling. If I'm getting my hands dirty, you are too. Where does this stairway lead, Lord Robert? To an underground passage that runs beneath the castle. It was meant to allow the royal family to flee should Dundrasil ever come under attack. Right. Let's get in there and see if we can find some clues to the identity of our restless knight, shall we? chat with our friend here, but something tells me he's got other things in mind. Such despair. Stay focused. name, which would make you... Erwin. 
Last king of Dundrasil. Just as I thought. A great man, and a fine warrior too, as you've just witnessed. And, most importantly of all, your father. I'm sorry the two of you had to meet like this. What happened to you, Erwin? Come on, laddie. Look at me. What in the... At last you have come. Long have I waited for a kindly soul to free my restless knight from his misery. Oh, the voice from the dream. You are correct, of course. Before you, Niels Erwin, King of Dundrasil. All those long years ago, on that darkest of days, he fought to the last. The light of justice sustained him, and he refused to yield to the darkness. But with time, that light has waned, and all that remains is the tortured soul you see before you. Lost between light and dark, life and death. I beg of you, help him, free him from his nightmare. Shine the light of hope into the darkness of his despair. The voice, it's gone again. Who is she? That'll have to wait. Erwin here needs our help. But what are we supposed to do to help him? King Erwin, it is a great honour to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundrasil. You honor us with your presence. 
The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen King Carnelian? Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark, that he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. Save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? Jade. He wants to play. <laughs> He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> Colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one?
All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. <sighs> Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Helena. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? What about me, hmm? Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> right, we better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Both of you. This child, he is the one? He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth, with his coming, Black night endeth. The final poem in the Book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, bringing eternal peace to the world. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. The peace of Erdrea is under threat. The kingdom of Svadzrost has already fallen into wicked creature's hands, and King Arnut with it. You will be sorely missed. And now a child has been born who bears the mark, which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? Of the Dark One, of monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Now that the Luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? <laughs> You believe that the presence of the Luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy. World Tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. 
What are the two of you implying? That the luminary causes the appearance of the Dark One? Without light, there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the Luminary may well be what causes the Dark One to awaken. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the Luminary isn't a force for good? Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Something happened, not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Light and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of evil. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. The Luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Carninian. Everyone. I... I don't know what to say. Very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with. 
and it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. <laughs> Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Carnelian. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, dear... Uh, your Majesty! Uh, 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 what is it? You, you must flee the palace immediately! Monsters! Hundreds! Hundreds of monsters! Ah! We're under attack. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. Force, but they shall not have the child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! But King Carnelian, this is suicide! You need not fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. Now go! Thank you. Both of you. Worst for you both. Never mind that now. We need to get out of here, all of us. Come on. No matter what happens, I will get you out of here. I promise. Let's go.
Should be able to get out through here. If they've made it this far around the castle, they must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use the tunnels. This way. I think this was the one. Quickly, in we go, before the monsters find us.
to make a break for it. I'll deal with him. Get out of here! Quickly! But Erwin... Run! And don't look back! You despicable creatures. Do your worst. You won't get past me! And stay down. Right. Time to get after Eleanor. <laughs> Jane! Jane! Are you down here? Jane! King Carnelian? Over here, Your Majesty! King Carnelian? What in that? <sighs> Who are you? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Your Majesty! <laughs> Erwin, is that you? What happened? Is everyone safe? You're all right. Thank goodness. Jade's with Eleanor and the Wee One, Your Majesty. They made it safely out of the castle. I see. Good. Very good. I shall send my forces after them. Right away. Your Majesty, what do you... <laughs> the bloodline of the Luminary ends here. Today. King Carnelian? Your Majesty? Uh. Sire. Forgive me. I was unable to find you. I thank the heavens that you are unhurt. <gasps> King Erwin? What has happened here? I had no choice. He came at me in a frenzy. Queen Eleanor has absconded with the Luminary. And with my daughter. Surely not. 
Whatever would possess them to commit such acts? The birth of the child has put them both under great pressure. It has also caused the coming of the monsters, the loss of countless lives. Perhaps the coming of the Luminary does bring darkness in its wake. After all, without him, this tragedy would never have come to pass. Yes! I see now! He is not our savior. He is the harbinger of the night to come. The child of evil! The dark spawn! He must be found and dealt with. The peace of Erdria must not be permitted to collapse. Find him! Leave no stone unturned! Sire. He is no harbinger of darkness. He is the luminary, the savior. S Someone, please. King Carnelian must be stopped, or the world will be plunged in, into darkness. Eleanor, please. Forgive me. I was too weak. One's misery is just mm, exquisite. His kingdom ruined, his family gone, betrayed, mm, dying alone. Mm, oh, no. oh. Which is why I've been drawing out his torture for all these years. One must savor such succulent suffering. But even the most fabulous feasts must come to an end. It is time to move on to the next course. How does your despair compare, I wonder? Hold still while I sample its delights. Give yourself to misery. Let anguish consume you. This is your most painful memory. The darkest, tenderest recess of your soul. Protect your friend. 
Gods, you could not save the world. What kind of hero are you? Pathetic. Wallow in it. Marinate yourself in misery. Yes. My mouth begins to water. Can you hear me? Please, you must listen. There is a light inside you that can never be extinguished. It is waiting, biding its time, but it is there, and when it shines forth, it will illuminate the world. Now is that time. You are the luminary. You must conquer the darkness. You must shine. This is the beast responsible for King Erwin's suffering. We must defeat it and lift his majesty's curse. <laughs> you dare disturb me while I prepare to sample the next delicious morsel of misery. No matter. Your screams of agony will surely whet my appetite. Accept your fate.
Bahia. Luminary! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> 
Eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Son, is it really you? It was you who saved me, wasn't it? You're back. You're back to your old self at last. Eleanor? Oh. Our son has freed you. Despair no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. My love, I am. Hardships await you. Many trials lie ahead. But you must not stray from your path. You must not falter. Let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide. And remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Erwin. I hope both of you find peace at last. <gasps> Honey, your hand! Mark, it's glowing again. Your powers, they're back! The Luminary is restored to us, and all thanks to his honored parents.